Hi guys! Today we're gonna be in this couch and we're gonna talk about couch surfing. So let's start surfing on the couch. <laughs> couch surfing actually it's an online community. Uh, it's a website and it also has an app. It's like a community of travelers, okay? So it's like really this community of very grounded, nice, kind people that really have a spirit of helping other people and being kind. I don't know, I'm not, I don't consider myself like a big traveler, but I have some experience and couch surfing, it's like a big thing when you want to travel for free. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to be talking about the, the app and the spirit of it, how's the community. I'm going to give you the point of view of a host and the point of view of a guest. So I'm going to give you some tips and advice. Okay, so couch surfing works perfectly well thanks to the reference system that it has. Okay, so every profile has kind of like a reputation. In couch surfing, they really care about the reputation. As a guest or as a host, you want to be shown as the, the most honest and sincere version of yourself. So it's really important for you to create your profile and I'm here in my computer right now. I'm going to check my profile just to I'll post pictures here so you can see what I'm talking about. But first of all, it's very important that you post a lot of pictures of yourself. You have to show your face, you have to show your personality in pictures, okay? So normally I like to take pictures that are very artistic and trying to be like modeling and all of that. So normally my pictures are like, you know, with like the like Zoolander, like the blue steel, and that wouldn't work in couch surfing because people would think that I'm an asshole. So normally I put pictures of myself like cooking and I don't know, playing the ukulele, smiling, swimming, traveling. Put the things that you love to do in your profile pictures. And I also have like albums of my favorite couch surfers and I post pictures there of our experiences. Like I, for example, I have hosting Carrie from Ukraine, hosting Luca from Italy, hosting Doc from England. When travelers are trying to find a host, they see my profile and they're like, oh, oh my gosh, this host really cares for, for his guests. The pictures really say a lot and you have to be a reliable person. Then you have, uh, like, you have to make a little description about yourself. Here it says, write about yourself. Tell a little story of yourself, say who you are, what you like. Some things, for example, I like to say that I'm vegan, that I, I'm from Venezuela but I live in Buenos Aires. You have to be specific and you have to be honest about the things that you like, what are your interests, what do you like to do. Tell a little story about your life so when another person is reading your profile they can kind of like relate and say like, oh yeah, this person might be a really good and nice person to meet and to host or nah, you know what, like we don't really have much in common. Then just write random things or try to do it fast because people will not select your profile. You have to be specific. You can also add tags on your profile so other people can find you through tags, through hashtags. So it will be easier to find people that will match with, with the things that you like to do and people that have similar personalities to you. Then you have to describe uh, the music that you like, the books and the movies that you like, because those things connect people, even if you don't believe it. But then comes another super important thing that this is like, I think the most important of them all. It's your experience on couch surfing. So here you can, uh, you have like a little map of the world and then all the countries that you've hosted or where you have stayed. It's like painted in orange and it's like very beautiful. All your experience on the app is there. So references are everything. Every time you share with someone on Couchsurfing, they can leave you a reference. So people really look on references. And if you are new to Couchsurfing and you don't have because your profile is super new and you don't have any reference because you it's the first time, don't stress too much about it. We've all been there having zero references. It's gonna be harder for you to find people to connect with because some people, they don't really accept guests if they don't have references. But actually, there are so many exceptions. I mean, I hosted once uh, a guy from Italy, Luca. He's one of my best friends now, and he stayed at my house for three weeks, and when he requested to stay, he had no references at all. And my rule is like, always host people with references. But he had a really good profile describing himself and everything that he liked. He had really good pictures, and the message that he sent me was so, Good. I mean, I could tell that he read all my profile.
profile in detail. He saw everything, so he really made a big effort to impress me as a host. So of course I said yes, because I mean, the message was lovely. So I think that a profile with more than 10 references or 15 references would be a good number for you to know that, okay, this, this profile is reliable. I can trust in this person. And if the references are good, you know, because some people have really bad references. So this is why reputation is so important in couch surfing. People always want to have this clean reputation of like, I am a good person, you know? Okay, on being a host, once you have your profile really amazing and sparkling and showing who you are and being completely yourself, if you don't have uh, references, it's gonna be quite difficult for travelers to pick you as a host, so you can actually go and try to find travelers that are coming to your city and try to find someone, I don't know, write them a message like, hey, I'm looking for someone to stay in my house if you wanna stay you are welcome, I don't know, be kind and be nice about it. And actually, once you start hosting people and you start to have more and more references, you will be tired of getting so many requests, I swear. Like, during the summer, I get like 15 to 20 requests per day. I don't know, I really like to host. That's like my favorite thing. And I love to give, um, and my mom as well. So, um, yes, once you have references, your profile is gonna be verified, it's gonna have this little check and you won't have to pay, like normally you have to pay to be verified but if you're a host and you're constantly hosting people Couchsurfing will give you as a gift for every person you host three months off a free verified account, I think so yeah, that's really good, that's like a way of Couchsurfing saying thank you for being a good host so yeah, once you're verified it's gonna be so much easy because people will know that you're the person that you're saying to be and that you're real and that you're good uh, and also, when you want to travel, you will have unlimited messages to send and requests to send. So it's really good. Even if a profile is verified, that doesn't mean that they're good. So always read the references. Always, all the time. Try to read as much references as you can. Okay, so when you're a host and you get a request that you think like, oh my gosh, this person is going to be actually really good. And we're going to have a good time. We have a lot of things in common and you select this person and you accept their request. I like to be honest about the situation. Like, there has to be a lot of communication between you and your guests. You have to tell them everything about your house, where the person's gonna sleep, if it's like a shared room, like for example here, they will, they, my guests sleep on the living room in a blow-up mattress, and yes, I tell them everything beforehand, you know? I'm always very honest and clear about everything. Like, I work eight hours per day, six days per week. I don't have a lot of time, but we can do a lot of things on my free time, so be, be honest about everything. Give them a, an idea of how everything's gonna be when they stay with you, so they are prepared. And they can actually say like, no, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't agree with that, so maybe I will not stay with you, and that's okay, you know? Don't be afraid of being rejected. It's better to reject or to say no before everything starts so you avoid very awkward situations, you know, because those happen sometimes. Okay, so once your guest is coming, be welcoming, you know, be kind, make them feel comfortable, make them feel like this is their house. Like, give them a little tour of the house, show them how everything works. I like to give them a, a copy of the keys of my house so they can go out and in freely whenever they want. Give them freedom and give them privacy if they need it and respect their space, you know? Sometimes I understand that when you have someone from another country and it's like so interesting. I remember like all the time that I have a new guest, I'm in my job and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I just wanna go back home so I can talk with this person and meet this person. and. I don't know, share so many experiences and go out and party and all of that. And if you're good cooking, you know, cook something for them. I mean, you just have to give them accommodation and that, like a place to sleep. So you're not forced to give them food. But I, normally I like to wake up early and prepare breakfast for them. You know, share. Share and give the things that you have. If you have the chance to do it, just do it, you know? Because they will feel it and they will be so grateful. And it has happened to me so many times that I get home super tired from my work and I get home and I have this beautiful dinner that they made, you know? So when there's connection between you and your guest, it's like, it's the most beautiful relationship. You really, really make friends and friendships that last really, really long. You will 
find yourself talking in the living room until 3 a.m. about super deep things. So it's like so amazing. It's like so beautiful. You start to get used to this person being in your house and you share a lot and there's like, you connect in another level because it's like living together, you know, you're roomies, you share a lot of things. Uh, so it's actually really sad when they have to leave. <laughs> it's That's like my, I hate it. That's the thing that I don't like about couch surfing. It's goodbyes because they're travelers and the chances of you meeting them again, it's they're very low. And then when they leave, leave the reference. Please write down the reference and be honest and be detailed and give everything. Like talk about the things that you did, the things that you enjoyed about this person. If you really had a good experience with your guest, show them, you know, like let them know and give them a little presence. I don't know, something that represents the friendship that you created. That's all. Like be a friend and then everything's gonna be perfect and you're gonna enjoy it, the other person's gonna enjoy it, and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, and now let's talk about being a good guest. So I guess this is what people are more interested about because they wanna travel and have free accommodation. You don't have to be scared about it. You just have to be smart, you know? Of course, you're not going to stay with just a random person that has a bad profile and has no references. Be picky about it. Be picky, like try to find good profiles. Okay, so you found a profile of a host that you like. Read it, read it from head to toe, from start to finish. You have to read every detail on this profile and send them a message. Be super kind and nice and sparkling and be like, oh, like there's a lot of competition in couch surfing. Even for those hosts that have a lot of references and have the best profile, a lot of people try to stay with them. So you have to compete with other travelers that are, you know, they, they want to stay with this person. So you have to stand out and you have to be the best message and the best profile. Even if you don't have a lot of references and your profile is not that good, the message, it's really important. So write a juicy, beautiful, whipped cream, cherry on top message. If you are not verified yet, you either have to pay or you have to host a lot of people to be verified. So I think you have 10 requests per week or per month. I don't remember, but they're limited. So don't just send a bunch of messages randomly like be picky and try to find the profiles that you think that could accept you you know the, the the profiles of the hosts that you think that maybe this person can host me okay then you get accepted by one of the i don't know many messages that you send one person accepts you and you have to be flexible okay so remember that you're staying at their house for free you're traveling but this person is having their normal schedule their routine so be respectful about it and be flexible be kind be polite and have good manners like please common things that you learn when you're a little kid use them please be polite <laughs> remember that you are getting to a new culture and your host it's looking forward to meet you most of the times we are very like excited to meet this person so I'm, I have to repeat this again but communication is everything you have to have communication with your host if there's something that you don't like say it if you feel tired one day and you really don't feel like going out say it if you don't feel very interested about going to one place that your host is offering you say it say how you feel be open about it they will not get mad at you it's it's better that you say that you don't feel like doing something than going to this place with your host and be like you know like a party pooper and if you don't feel comfortable if you arrive to your host's place which can happen sometimes uh, and you don't feel comfortable there's something that you don't like just leave you're not forced to stay just of course don't say like oh yeah you know what i'm leaving because you're a creep no but say something like, I don't know, make an excuse or tell them that, I don't know, you have to go. Don't stay if you don't have a good feeling about it. If you feel like you're putting your life in risk or if you really don't feel comfortable in that place, just leave. Please, 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 this is something really important for guests. Help your host with the house. Washing the dishes or ask them if, you, if they need a hand on the, on the kitchen, if, if they need help with the cooking. Try to keep the, the house clean. I've had guests that are like, they leave my kitchen extremely clean, like even more beautiful than it was before. And they always help me like, I don't know, they bring some veggies, you know, to help, or they bring food or they prepare food for me. When you're staying at someone's house, this person is trusting you. This person is giving you a lot of trust and don't break it. You know, like be respectful and appreciate it and just don't do stupid things. Like obviously don't 
do things that you know that would bother your host. You always have to move on and it's time to leave your host's house. So if you have the chance, if you can afford, try to buy something for your, for your host, try to be grateful, show your gratitude. I mean, you're a traveler and you don't have a lot of money so you don't have to buy a super expensive and fancy gift. Just something that it's meaningful, you know, even if you don't buy it. Like, I have some plants from my surfers, have a ukulele, some books, uh, drawings, pictures, food from other countries. <laughs> a lot of things I've received as a, as a host. So yes, always show your gratitude to your host. And then, of course, leave a reference. Be honest about the time that you had with your host. Try to describe the house, try to say how everything was. And yeah, be honest, leave the reference, never skip it. You have to be honest. If you have a really bad time, say it as well, because other people rely on that. Okay, and that's it. I can't believe we're over with this video. It's super loaded with a lot of information. I hope it's helpful for you. If you have like a little bit of curiosity and you want to try couch surfing, I encourage you to do it because it's amazing. It's a beautiful community. It's incredible you will have amazing experiences there most of my best friends are from this app and i met them there and i have a lot of friends all over the world and that's the most beautiful thing i get to practice my english i get to discover so many cultures staying in my house if you have the chance to host host people if you have the chance to travel and stay in with couch surfing you're gonna have free accommodation and you will have the best experiences in your life so Download the app if you want to do it. Create your profile and follow all the tips and advice that I gave you. So I hope it's helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.